In today's video, we're going to cover how to surface your MDF spool boards and why this operation is so important. Simply put, we want to ensure our material is as flat as possible. Surfacing the spool boards ensures we have a flat surface to mount our material to. This will result in smooth cuts of equal depth along every part of the material surface. Our tooling choice for this job is going to be an inch and a quarter mortising bit. If you've purchased the ABS 301 or ABS 201, the mortising bit will be included in that set. The first thing that we're going to do is home the machine. We're going to select All Axis Home. After the home operation has been completed, we're going to set the XY0 at the home position. Pressing the XY0 button on the control will allow us to set that home position as the origin. The Z0 will be set from the top of the MDF spool boards. After the bit is secured into the collet, we want to move it directly over top of the MDF itself. When setting your Z0, you have two options, using the included touch-off puck or setting your Z manually. When using the touch-off puck, place it on top of the MDF spool boards and press the tool set button on the controller. If setting the Z manually, jog the bit down to the surface of the MDF and press the Z0 button. Now it's time to set our spindle RPM. A quick tech tip here. When using the inch and a quarter mortising bit, we want to use an RPM range of around 18,000. Turning the dial on the VFD will allow us to change the RPM. Adjust the frequency to around 300. When the spindle starts to run, the operating RPM will be displayed. Now it's time to run our file. A quick tech tip here. The surfacing file is stored in the internal memory on the controller on every Axiom machine. To access this file, press the Run Pulse Delete button, select Internal Memory, locate the file ending with sfc.mmg. Select that file by pressing the OK button, and then the Work Speed screen will be displayed. Pressing OK one more time, your machine will display a 3 second countdown. This will allow your spindle to fire up to operating RPM, and then your machine is off and running. We hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, for more information, you can always refer to your Axiom user manual or simply visit us at axiomprecision.com.